Roosevelt Rough Riders Class of 2020. I'm Malika Saleem and I've been your ASR president this year. Um, and although times are very unprecedented and we don't know what's going on really, I for sure don't, um, some wonderful peers of ours have put together an incredible video for you. In this video for you today, we have 12 alumni of Roosevelt who have been very successful in their respective fields. We have athletes, artists, business people, and more who will all be offering their advice, wisdom, and congratulations to us as we carry on into the next chapter of our lives. Enjoy! Deuce, at, deuce, at, rub, rider! Rub, rider! What's good with you, man? What's up, Roosevelt Class of 2020? Hello. Hi, Roosevelt High School Class of 2020. Congratulations. Hey, Roosevelt Class of 2020. Hey, Class of 2020. Hi, Class of 2020. Hey, Roosevelt Class of 2020. Hey, Class of 2020. Rough Riders, what's going on? Hello, Roosevelt High School graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, Roosevelt class of 2020. You made it. You've graduated. Your boy, sir, makes a lot. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Yes, I graduated Roosevelt High School class of, you don't want to know. Way back, this is way, put it this way. If you got a car that was built the year I graduated, your car is gonna be a classic real soon. <laughs> That's how old I am. My name is Thomas Sam. I'm a novelist here in Seattle, class of 1994. I'm Leif Hawkins of the Roosevelt High School, class of 1957. I'm Stephanie Reese, class of 93, yeah. <laughs> this is David Gooderson an author from the class of 74. Hey, my name is Mark Patterson, and I graduated way back in 1980. It seems like a million years ago. My name is Sarah Gasarek. I am a two-time Grammy-nominated jazz vocalist, and I graduated from Roosevelt in 00. Uh, this is Duff McKagan. I am a Roosevelt alumni. My name is Greg Malins. I graduated from Roosevelt in 1986. I'm a TV writer. I've written all your favorite shows. Okay, maybe not all of them, but I'm sure some of you have seen How I Met Your Mother, Will and Grace, and I know you've seen Friends. My name is Marcus Williams, and I graduated from Roosevelt High School in 2005. My name is TJ Martin, class of 97. Hi, my name is Jason Andrews. I'm a Roosevelt Rough Rider, class of 1990, so 30 years ago today. Um, I had the honor of stepping out of those doors at, at Roosevelt High School. wanted to say congratulations. I know it's a bummer that you're not having a traditional graduation ceremony, but you know, guess what? I had one and I don't remember anything about it for various reasons, but uh, the most important thing is that you have all the most important memories that you need, your friendships, the good, the bad, and the ugly that you've already experienced during high school that's made you who you are to this point. And unless you're planning on becoming a professional athlete, you need to be playing the long game. You want to do something like be a writer, it matters where you're at 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. So keep your head up through this intense time, but uh, you know, work hard and uh, yeah, play the long game. Um, I know in this in this uh, this time, you guys can't be together for your graduation. It's it's got to suck. Um, but you guys made it through, um, life will come back together and you guys will excel and move on and, uh, really happy for all you guys and hopefully this, this video, um, coming from a fellow Rooseveltian, uh, uh, will cheer you up a little bit or, uh, you know. We're all in this thing together, and uh, I, I was watching a, like a Will Ferrell movie the other night. It suddenly realized like everybody on that set, Will Ferrell included, the whole the production, all the actors, they're all in the same situation I am, you know, stuck at home. I just wanted to take a quick moment to say how proud of you I am for reaching the end of your four years at Roosevelt and entering into the world. I'm sure that it's presenting very differently than you anticipated it to, but as someone who's existed on the other side of things for 20 years, I'm here to tell you that 
the best is truly yet to come. You have your whole lives ahead of you and it only gets better from here. Uh, I went on to the University of Washington, got an aerospace engineering degree, and then started a bunch of companies here in the Seattle area. Uh, we made satellites with the Andrew Space, we launched satellites with sp uh, spaceflight, uh, and we have a geospatial constellation with Black Sky. Uh, along that way, it was not easy creating those companies. I learned far more from my failures and my challenges than I did from my successes. And you guys are going through some challenging times right now. Uh, but you'll be stronger for it. Uh, class of 2020 is going to go on and do great things. So stay safe, stay confident, uh, go out there and change the world. Congratulations. I know with this coronavirus thing, these quarantines and all that stuff that it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard because y'all can't go kick it. You can't do nothing you want to do. But one thing you can do, you can have Uncle Mix in the house, baby. Roosevelt, Ruck Rider. Yeah, we took that state championship too back in the day. Basketball. What you know about that? I wasn't on the team, but, you know, I'm bragging. I love y'all. I'm proud of y'all. <sighs> Look at you guys. Look at you. Look at you guys. Look how beautiful you are. When I was your age, that's some old man stuff. When I was your age, I used to go outside, mow the lawn for $10 a head. Please. When I was your age, I do the same thing y'all do. When this quarantine thing is over, y'all gonna let loose like the world's on fire, and I love y'all. Congratulations, Roosevelt class of 2020. I am honored to have been given the opportunity to speak with you. Each of you should be proud of your accomplishments at this stage of your lives. I urge you to work hard, do your best as you move forward to the rest of your life. Thank you and good luck. I just want to say a huge congratulations. I loved my four years at Roosevelt High School. It molded and shaped so much of um, who I became in the world and as an artist. Um, as, as a human being and the friendships that I had when I was there, I still have today. And I just can't tell you how wonderful it is to be able to congratulate you, even if it's virtually. I know we're in crazy times right now, um, and I'm so sorry that you aren't able to have your normal ceremony and, and probably you didn't have a regular prom either, but these challenging things are the very things that help us become more creative and more inspired in life moving forward. I want to express my admiration and respect for you in enduring and making it through to graduation in these very difficult times. So. I'm going to share something with you that I've always found a good guidepost um, in how to navigate life. The great Maya Angelou once famously said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. Um, for me, this essentially means living your life with integrity, and more specifically, respecting the importance of empathy. Empathy for your immediate community, empathy for your national and global community, uh, and empathy for yourself. Um, you are our future community leaders, artists, educators, engineers, activists, politicians, business people, healthcare workers, athletes, entertainers, technologists, futurists. The way in which you treat your colleagues, the way in which you treat your collaborators um, will have a profound impact on your craft and the work that you actually do. So ask yourself, can you lead with empathy? Can you elicit empathy from your collaborators? Can you create an empathetic space for your collective community to, community to excel? Um, I could continue on and fill you with platitudes about soaring for the stars, being the best, never giving up, blah, 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 blah. I just found for myself that a good guidepost is to always remember people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. It's been amazing as I look back on that time and think what I've been able to accomplish. I went on to the University of Washington. I played football for the Huskies. We had a very successful run. I was able to get drafted, played in the NFL for a number of years, and now I'm an executive for Sports Illustrated. And I've also been climbing the seven summits, which are the highest peaks around the world, with Mount 
Everest coming up. And so here's my little secret. Here's my little secret to you, which is success leaves clues. Find a mentor out there that you can emulate, that you can follow. These people have done it, they've been there. So you've got the world in front of you. You guys can do anything you're gonna do. I'm so proud of you. You're gonna get there. So make it happen, find a mentor, and go change the world. I just wanted to say congratulations because this is a big deal. Graduating from high school is not easy. Take it from me. Some students graduate with the word honors next to their name. I graduated with the word barely next to mine. My four years at Roosevelt were four of the funnest years of my life. And sadly, that was reflected in my grades 2.6. So be proud of yourself and don't worry about your GPA or your test scores or what college you got into or didn't get into. I didn't even go to college. Um, but luckily, none of that stuff affected how my life turned out. Here's what did, and here's my advice to you. Find something you love, make smart decisions, be nice to everybody, and work harder than everybody else. Another thing I wanted to mention was, I'm 52 years old, and other than one or two, all of my best friends today are the friends I made at Roosevelt. So keep in touch with your friends, keep them close in your life because as you get older and life starts throwing crazy hard stuff at you, you're gonna need those people in your life. Trust me. First thing I wanna say is once a rough rider, always a rough rider. We're family from here on out. Second thing is in true rough rider fashion, life is asking you guys to graduate during a very difficult and challenging time, requiring you guys to ride it out together as a class. I think in a way that's kind of special. So congratulations to you on that as well. And of course, on your journey moving forward, make sure that you're ambitious, you never look back, and you always, always be the change in the world that you wanna be. And last but not least, always continue to inspire others. Congratulations, Roosevelt class of 2020, and best of luck to y'all. Uh, be safe, you guys. Stay healthy, stay safe. I'm wishing you all the very best and sending my love. Stay safe, stay healthy, and follow your dreams. Bye! Congratulations. 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 Roosevelt, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. You deserve it. We love you. Rock on. Your boy, Sir Mix-a-Lot. Yeah! Rope Rider! Bye! All right, what a fantastic video. Thank you, a huge thank you to our peers and the alumni that made this happen. It's so wonderful to celebrate something in such dark times. And to close, I would like to emphasize that Black Lives Matter and that it is so important right now that we stand up for what is right and grow into people who will contribute to a more equal and just society. Big congratulations to you all. I'm so grateful to be among you and I wish you all the best and farewell, so long.